Nathan, what are we calling this video? <laughs> we're calling it just for the hell of it. Yeah, we're here just doing a short video at the IMI Motorsports Park, which is basically a uh, motocross park. And we've got the GMC Yukon and we've got the Land Rover LR4. And we're going to demonstrate the differences between the approach angles of both of these vehicles. Yeah, they're significantly different because they're built for two different missions. Nathan, you are like maybe an inch or half an inch away from hitting that front of the uh, GMC. Yeah, well that's because it's aerodynamic in the front, so they have that chin variance that's just right there in the way, which is a bummer. This thing is not really happy off-road. This is an on-road cruiser that can kind of sort of go off-road. Yeah, I mean it demonstrates the approach angle difference between a dedicated kind of off-road vehicle and one that's designed for good fuel efficiency and thus, not so great off-road. Yeah, but you know what? I still know I can make it up this hill. All right, try it. Yeah, yeah, I know I can do it. A little bit more right. Now this vehicle has several advantages over Nathan's. First of all, it has air suspension. So with my little finger, I can raise it up, which gives me a better approach angle. Uh, and that means that the front end isn't as low, so I'm less likely to hit the bottom of the hill. Let me give you an example. Oh, it's going up, I can feel it. How nice is that? So I had about an inch and well, let's see how Roman does. This is the lowest point. This is still for aerodynamics, but aside from the fact that it's flexible, thank goodness, he didn't even come within three inches of it. Yeah, you know, approach angles uh, are huge when you're off-roading. Of course, departure angle is the exact opposite, so when I get up on top of the hill, the back doesn't hit. The problem is the breakover angle up there, right? Yeah. When you get to the top, it's just gonna go straight down and the car is gonna get stuck on the... I don't think you'll have a problem. I think I will. I have steps on the side of mine. Yeah, yeah, you don't want steps. You want sliders. <laughs> As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. Saying thanks for watching. See you next time. And what the hell? What the hell? When Nathan went over this hill, I saw right up his skirt, man. He's got a spare tire under there, really, a spare tire. <laughs> <laughs>